Hi everyone, how are you? Um, I just wanted to remind you that I go to pattern-collections.com. It's the website, it is not an app, in order to find my patterns. And I used to follow the daily patterns, the pattern focus. It's, it's under pattern focus. I used to follow every single one. And, you know, I have cut back because, you know, you just can't keep up with a daily absolutely one a day drawing. I just couldn't do it anymore. So I've cut back to three days a week and I just wanted to show you that this is where I find the patterns. Um, and then like this week, uh, Rainbow Bridge I've already done on a previous video. Uh, this one, Ring Ringelli, I've already done. And this one, Roll Over, I've already done. So there's already a video on those patterns if you want to look at them. Um, you know, you just have to search, you know, use the little search thing on my YouTube channel to find those. So this week, I've decided to do this one, Rousk. And then we're going to go to Ringoli Border and Rosella. Those are the ones I'm going to do today, or uh, this week. So you just go and you click on the, the one or you can uh, use the search function and type in the name and you'll come to this page. And then if you want to zoom in, sometimes if you scroll down, it will have, um, if somebody else has done a video or if I've done a video, it will be linked here. Um, as many of them as uh, Nicole or Ina can get to. They don't have all of them there and that's cool. You know, it's a lot of work, um, but most of them are. And then if you click on the picture itself, it opens bigger so that you can zoom in and look at all the details. This one's really cool. It's sort of a border tangle. <coughs> and remember that um, I'm learning these tangles along with you. I am not teaching. I'm learning and you're just following along with me as I learn. So let's study this one and see what we do. It looks like we do a row of um, sort of S-shaped curls like this, right? So it comes here, around, and like that. Here, around, and like that. <coughs> so sort of an S-shape with spirals at the end. A lazy S shape. A bit like doing um, cadent sort of a shape. And then coming the other way on the top and the bottom, we're going to come out and around and like that. So it is very much like doing cadent. And if you wanted to um, give yourself starting and ending points, I suppose you could absolutely do that. Um, The, what comes up next is the part that's really different. Then what you do is from here to here, making this sort of a wave-shaped triangle, you do this line right there. Right there like that. Okay? Then in step four, looks like Inside this big wave shaped triangle, we're going to do some arches like that. And then we're going to color in every other one so that we have this really graphic, swirly, uh, moving arch pattern thing. And then uh, the sample art has it going around in a border. I'm wondering what it might look like if we actually do it more like Cadent and stick another row attached to this one. So uh, that might be what I'm going to do. I think what what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to put in pencil these spots and see if that's an interesting idea. I don't know. Don't know yet. <coughs> Excuse me. 
let me turn on ooh, turn on my light because I forgot to do that one time last week and somebody yelled at me and then I realized part way through so you know I got it I, I figured it out let me get that out of the way and bring my drawing utensils over here and find I'm going to do this one which paper I'm going to use so this one is approximately just so you guys know approximately four and a quarter and that one's four so it's it's not quite a four inch square it's close to a four inch square it's a little bit one longer one way than the other. Um, pencil. I'm going to give myself a little border. You know what? Maybe I want to just do it diagonally. And then maybe add some other patterns to it. So I'm going to kind of give myself a, a light pencil mark as to where I might want to put the top and the bottom of this and I may also kind of give myself a well no I don't need that never mind I was gonna give myself another guideline but I don't think I need it so I'm gonna do that I don't know if you guys can see it it's very light <coughs> And I'm just going to dig in here. Where's my 01 pen? So I'm going to start with the 0.1 pen. And I'm going to kind of come around here, come down. And that one's going to go kind of off the page. Well, Oh, I'll go ahead and do it right there. That's fine. Like that. Something like this. That works. So there's those lines. And then I'm going to come this way. I'm going to turn my paper so that it's easiest for me to draw. Always make sure you're turning your paper to make it easiest for you. And I'm going to kind of like follow this. Set my pen down right about here. Come here and come around here and kind of follow it inward like that. Very much like Cadent. Okay. I'm going to come out and I'm going to come back in here. I'm going to come out here and in there. Come out here, in there, and out here, and in here. Then I'm going to turn my paper and I'm going to do the same thing going the other way. I'm going to come out here, and in there. Here, in there, like so. So that looks very cadent like to me. Um, <clears throat> so you could add more of this swirl coming down and the other direction. You absolutely could make it into more of a grid. I'm going to leave it like this. And then what is the next step? The next step is to do this step number three, which is to take from here and go over to here. So sort of diagonal in this shape. And continuing with a bit of a swoop.
like that. So once again, it's sort of a shape I've done before when I've taken uh, Cadent and made triangles out of it. So similar to that. Now, in this triangle, see here it makes a triangle. In that triangle, I am going to go like this. One, two, I'm actually going to make four, I think. Like that. Okay. So, it was supposed to be three. I did four on that one. I don't know. That might cause an issue with coloring. It might. We'll see what happens. One, two, and all the way up and touching that one, three. Just before I came out here to draw, I watched a video from um, Doodle Date. It was called... We called it artists or people too or something like that. <coughs> it was a very good video. It was more of a just a talking video. It had no art actually in it. But it was a really good video about how, you know, we're all just people and as much as you might admire an artist um, you know, you don't always know what's going on in their life and that, you know, they may be also having some struggles and whether it's personal struggles or art struggles, um, you know, you don't always have a good day and they're tired of, of pretending that all their days are good days when they're not. Clearly, poor little Steph is struggling um, physically and she hasn't really shared much about that. And it's it's tough. I, yeah, that fourth one there is not going to make me happy. I can tell you that right now, but that's okay. We're doing this space. I'm going to start with the second one here. Well, actually, maybe I'll start at this end and work my way this way with the filling in because I think I might be able to fix this with my filling in, but I'm not sure I can, so we'll see. But anyway, she was talking about how um, they haven't been super forthcoming with some of their personal struggles, whether it's with their YouTube channel, um, their career their uh, physical and mental well-being. Um, and it was... It was good to know that I'm not the only one who struggles with these sort of issues and deciding what to share with you guys and what not to share with you guys. Um, I feel like I've been pretty open and honest and a lot of a lot of you guys enjoy that. Some people really hate it. But you know what? Too bad. This is my channel. And I'm going to do what I do and say what I say. Um, but I try to be real and honest with you guys. Which is, you know, one of the reasons why when I said I just can't do keep up the schedule anymore and, and do... Um, do drawings as frequently as I had been doing. Just couldn't do it anymore. 
and I know I was really pushing myself, which was unusual for a YouTube person to do that many drawings or that many videos one a day. That's just really actually quite insane. And I'm not too sure why I even tried. But I managed for well over a year, almost a year and a half, almost two years. So, um, but it was a lot of juggling. It was a lot of um, sometimes having to draw seven drawings in one day. And that just got too much. I can't do it. I can do three. Three drawings. If I only have one day a week to, to draw, I can keep up with the schedule of drawing only, of drawing three uh, and, and videotaping three drawings in one day. But I just can't keep up with the schedule of, of seven. Just, it was just more than I could do. So, um, so even though I was doing some personal drawing in there, you know, that was, that was drawing not in a quiet environment, not with the camera rolling. Sometimes you just don't have that opportunity. Sometimes you're sitting in the in the house with the TV going and the and the family chit chatting and 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 dinner being cooked and all of that and you can't do it with a, a videotape happening. You just you know. So that's part of the the YouTube challenge is to have that private space time. And not everybody has that on a regular basis, especially those of us who like have regular full-time jobs. YouTube is not my career. I recently watched a guy though, um, it's a British fellow, I don't remember his name, I don't remember his channel name, you could probably search for it if you're interested, um, who made an upfront video about you know how much can can you make if you have like at the time he had 30,000 subscribers and he was doing his full on you know doing as much ad placement as possible on his channel and he was being forthcoming as to you know what what can you expect as a income from YouTube with that n number of followers with a certain amount of views um, and while it wasn't a lot it was more than I expected because I don't put you guys will notice that I choose not to put um, the ad stuff on my channel I don't have the videos that run before um, before anything starts. I don't have the little things that pop up at the bottom of the screen that you have to click off of because it is blocking your view. Um, some YouTubers I know will have more than one advertisement video that runs uh, during their show, like one at the beginning and one somewhere in the middle if they have a a long a lot of my art people have longer videos. Art takes a long time to do, right? Even if you are watching somebody who fast forwards their art, um, it still can be a lengthy a lengthy video. Um, because I'm just doing tiny little four inch pieces of art. Imagine if I was doing a larger piece. It could take days to do the piece. And even in fast forward for you to see uh, a reasonable amount of, of content, you would have to, uh, your video would have to be still 
um, lengthy. You can't do it in 10 minutes. That's what I'm trying to say. I've already passed 10 minutes here. I'm into 20 minutes and I'm not even I'm about halfway done. So, um, <coughs> so it is possible that, you know, your YouTube people are making a good amount of money. And those who have, you know, millions of subscribers are making really good money. They are. They're making good money. I, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think it was as high because, like I said, I I have mostly uh, advertising turned off. The only thing I have on my channel is the required where it gives you, like, usually if you're watching, when I'm watching on the, on the computer, over on my left-hand side is usually like a little column on the left-hand side that has advertising just static little clickable links on the left hand side and that's all I've allowed on my channel and that does not give me a whole lot of income and that's okay because that's not the point of this of this channel but um, I was really surprised at and how much I really actually could make if I was to go ahead and turn on all those advertisings. I don't have a plan to do so in the future. But there may come a day where I'm going to need it. So I'm just, you know, putting it out there. Being honest. Right now I don't think I'm going to need to do that. Because it just messes with taxes. However, it does turn out that looks like my husband is going to lose his job. The new owners have not yet taken over, but uh, they offered him uh, four hours a week. Not four hours a day, which would be half, you know, a half day. No, no, no. Four hours a week. Of work as a 1099 employee uh, on call I think not an hour a day for four days just to come over pick up the mail and drive it to the post office and drop it off that's it uh, no he's not accepting that um, and because of that, I'm pretty sure, yeah. So for a while we'll be fine. Hopefully he'll be able to get another job. He's already been talking to some of his customers. And I'm sure that it won't be long before he finds other employment. But meanwhile... I really think I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna just do this part the way I had drawn it, but I think it would look funny without having the dark going up into that scroll. And it kind of does. I think it needs to have the dark matching in the same spot. I think if I did all of them with four would be fine, since I. Did all the rest of them with three and only one with four? I think I need two to fill in that corner. So anyway, I'm going to be transparent. And if all of a sudden you start seeing ads on my channel, it's because my husband didn't find any other employment and I need to step up my game. But I'm hoping that won't happen. That's... Okay, so... What I'm wondering is, what might I want to join with this? Or do I want to just leave it just like this? I could just leave it like this as a sample. Or I could add something else to this. 
I'm thinking maybe some sand swirl would look really cool with this because it's got that movement and that motion and I think maybe I will do some. Let me get the smaller pen again. I'm going to come up and do sand swirl like that. You guys know sand swirl? I don't know if you... I've done it before. It is not a pattern that is available at pattern-collections.com. It's, um, it's not published there so I can't show you the step out because I only have permission from one website to show the pictures from the website on my channel so any other patterns that I do that are not uh, on pattern dash collections I can't show you the actual step out I can show you the artwork I can't show you the step out. I have somebody who has requested a pattern that's recently come out that's um, over at, oh, it was one of Tomas Padros' um, patterns. I don't remember the name of it. It's in, a, it's, in a, it's in a message. It's in a private message somewhere. I will find it. Um, I will draw it, but probably... I don't know if I'll get to it this week. Might not come out till next week. Um, it looks like it's a sort of a complex pattern, and the it's over at TanglePatterns.com is where the um, step out is published. So if you want to go look up uh, and just look up Tomas Padros, um, I'm sure you'll be able to find the pattern. I don't remember the name of it, but. I'll be able to leave a link, but I won't be able to show you pictures. And there really is no rules for sand swirl. I'm just kind of sticking them wherever I feel like putting them. And, um,. I like doing four. Some people do three, some people do six of the swirl parts. I like four. Personal preference. Do however many do however many fill your heart with joy. Somebody asked me, you know, how do you decide what patterns go with what other patterns? Like, this is a really bold, dark pattern. It's got a lot of contrast. So I'm picking a pattern that has just lines and makes it more light. Um, I think any pattern goes with any other pattern, as long as you are uh, aware of your composition. Um... And I've also made a video about that, but I think I've got it set as private. Um, if you want to see that, I can mess message me over on my uh, Draw Tangles with Dawn Facebook page, and I can um, I can get you the link. So, anyway, I'm going to 
Sorry about the noise. My phone's going off. What do I think? Is that good? I think that composition is nice. I feel like there needs to be a little bit more right here. Maybe one more coming this way. There we go. Felt like that spot was feeling a little empty. And I have no idea half the time what I'm saying. I'm just talking to you guys and then you comment like months later. And I have no idea what you're talking about because I've forgotten what I have said. I'm going to get rid of the little border because I really don't need that. And uh, what was the name of this? Forgotten already. See, I'm I, I'm I'm really good at forgetting. R A S U C. R A S U C. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of shading right in where my sand swirls overlap. I like that. I'm not sure how to shade that, and I might not. I might just leave it just like that, just really bold, and just shade where it's overlapping the sand swirl. Maybe that's what I'll do. Like so. So where did I start with my conversation? Oh yeah, Doodle Date. Go over to Doodle Date and give them some love. Um, they're going through some stuff. And uh, yeah, artists are people and they have stuff. And life, life happens. And you know, we're not perfect people, that's for darn sure. My art helps me get me get through my day. It's the way I cope with all sorts of things. I've been enjoying doing acrylic April. If you check out, just do a, a Google search with ha hashtag acrylic April 2019 or hashtag acrylic April. I think just acrylic April will probably find you some stuff. Um, Cinnamon Cooney is doing. 30 paintings in 30 days in the month of April and she's teaching and she's guiding us and helping us to have a daily painting practice. I can't paint every single day but I have managed to keep up and um, we're on day, I finished day six, today is day seven but I have not yet painted today and I probably won't have time to paint today because I have to go to work shortly. But um, I do manage to find time to to get painting done and I've been really enjoying myself. Just little paintings, little six by six paintings, nothing big. Just a little bit bigger than these little drawings. Alright, there we go. This one is done. 
all taken care of. Um, I will see you guys on the next video, which is going to be, what did I say it was going to be? I'm going to do Ringeli Border, and uh, we'll see how that goes. I will see you guys later. You go out and do something nice for someone today. I need to call my husband back because he left a message on my phone. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.